This home is our first home. We've had it almost eight years, and um, there's just something special about this house. We thought it would be a great place for our kids to grow up. It's proved to be everything that we thought it would be, and more. It's our home, it's not just a house. I was at home with all of the kids, all four of them, and um, I wasn't very concerned with it up until about three o'clock in the morning. And about three o'clock in the morning, um, I checked out the front door and noticed the water was very close to the front door. And I started pacing from the front door to the back door for about an hour until four o'clock in the morning, the water finally came in. At first, I wasn't too concerned. I thought, okay, it's an inch of water, we can do this, but it never stopped. And um, at some point, er everything started floating. The furniture, the beds, the couches, everything was floating in our house. A gentleman came to our uh, trailers here that we're living in um, and knocked on the door and he was in a truck with the the sticker on the side that said Eight Days of Hope and asked if I had heard of them and I had not. And um, he started explaining to me how the program works, that there's people from just all over the United States that are with various churches and um, just volunteers that come down to places that have a, a certain disaster, some type of disaster. And these people come in um, generously giving of themselves and their time to help these families rebuild. And every time that somebody with Eight Days of Hope called and said, okay, somebody will call you, somebody will call you, I really relaxed and let that happen. I didn't stress about it. I didn't worry about it. This organization is going to come through. And when they do, we'll see what gets done. And what doesn't get done, then we'll take care of it. We will manage. We will figure it out. And I kind of just put my faith into them. It's almost like your own army, your own personal army. All these angels have descended upon us and I honestly have, I'm not stressed. And you would think somebody being in this situation that there's people in there taking care of my home that I might would be a little frantic. Oh, well, are they gonna do what I want? I don't care. I'm, I feel relaxed and I feel safe. And that's an awesome feeling to have around people that you don't know people that you've never met and you just feel like this is going to be okay they're taking care of us and it's nice to know that there's people out there in this world that will do something like that we're hanging sheetrock back we're just getting it ready for the finishers that's what we're doing here in the kitchen and the dining room uh, we're making a little progress it took all morning to kind of get started and get the materials here but we're fixing to really go with it at lunch lord willing and I know where you are. They're helping us with the sheetrock, putting up the electrical, you know, whatever that was wrong with it and all that stuff. They're upgrading it for us, fixing that, uh, putting up the insulation, what's needed. I mean, basically what it, whatever we need to done that they're looking to uh, helping us out. We're very grateful that they're here to help us out. When you see the faith of others, it's contagious. You tend to kind of take that on. And um, today there's a crew out here of, I don't know, 15 or so people. And just that prayer this morning to get it get you started, it just kind of lights a little fire in you, it, like a little spark of electricity. And you're just like, okay, I'm good to go. It, it's filling, it fills your heart, it fills your soul. And um, they've probably been a blessing to people in many ways other than just fixing their homes, rebuilding their homes. They're probably impacting people in, um, in ways that, that they'll never realize.